I just always like making things. I mean, uh, since I was little. And I like to do things with my hands. And I started just making it for fun. Well, first you make the inside. And uh, like you create the base of the puppet. The base is like the head and the arms and the legs without any features, like without nose and eyes. This is the Eva puppet, and they are called lookalikes, or mini you, or mini me's, or, uh, well, I call it that I muppify people. I have this, that store on Etsy, so people can order a puppet of themselves, or of a friend, or somebody. They send a picture, and I muppify them. I turn them into muppets. And then, depending on who the person is. I have different shapes of the puppets, heads, different noses, different eyes, different hair, and then the clothing is a big part. Like I make, some of the clothing I make, some of it are like upcycled baby clothing and baby shoes. And uh, you don't have lots to work with when you muppify, because it's like very simple, the face. You don't have all the you know, Nyan says. Okay. She's all set. Ready! So in the beginning, all my puppets were actually like this. Like she's an old, much older body, which is, she's really like just a puppet. Because a lot of people have their puppets as something that sits, you know, in their living room or because it's something in between a toy and a, I don't know, sculpture. So then these have like a foam body inside. So it's almost like a doll, but you could stick your hand in it. Uh, one day I got this request for a puppet. For a, It was a mom that wanted to have her son's puppet made. It was for his 21st birthday. <laughs> And I was sure, so uh, I made it and I sent it. And then a couple of weeks later, I get an email from the same woman and she said, you know, my son really loved the puppet and he has a YouTube channel and he would be interested in having you make some puppets for him. So you're gonna get an email from him and blah, 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 this is his name and that's the, so you know what it is. And I, and I wrote back, that's fine, you know. So this is the eyelid template. I made the puppet, he, he was on his show, and then a couple months later, I'm starting to get emails from kids. And I'm just getting all these requests, like one after the other after the other, and all of them are very similar. Like, it's a, you can see it's kids, they send a picture, and they say, this is what I want. I've gotten numerous mails from parents telling that the kids never had a toy that they played this much with, that they don't go anywhere without it. And it's making a lot of children happy all over the world. <laughs> so anyway, this is Jeffy. I made uh, many other characters that he uses in his videos. I have one that is a bum. <laughs> a street bum. There is uh, Jeffy's mom, Jeffy's sister. There's a French painter that is also turned out that it was Jeffy's dad. There is a character, he's called Atso. I've made now maybe five or six hundred of them. There are not two that are just the same. They just never come out the same. And I, I, I write to the people that order the puppets that they each puppet have their puppet soul. So they no one would look just like the puppet that's on the video. And it's true. They are all different. It's not made in China, does not come out from a factory. They have their puppet soul. Now I feel like I'm coming into what I really want to do. Like I'm enjoying every day of what I do. I mean, it's stressful because there are so many orders and we 
just I have people helping me because we just cannot get them done fast enough. But this is what I want to do. Like I want to make puppets. I want to teach the kids. Want to have my studio. I'm like super happy. <laughs> <laughs>